What's up, Kansas City? This is Lonnie Powell Presents, uh, sponsored by Cascade Media Group. And today with, uh, we have with us a very distinguished uh, artist in this town, which is uh, what Lonnie Powell Presents attempts to do. We're trying to introduce Kansas City to its artist. And uh, I've heard people say that there are no artists in Kansas City, and I beg to differ with them that there are extremely great artists in Kansas City. And uh, today we have with us one of the great ones. Oh, please. <laughs> uh, I, I'm not going to run down his whole history and everything, but. Uh, for one thing, you, he is a member of the National Watercolor Society, uh, which is a national organization. It's probably international because it uh, gets competition from all over the world. Uh, so, Mr. Dixon is a watercolor artist. Okay. He. Uh, he he ma he makes that very clear that watercolor is his medium. Watercolor is probably uh, one of the hardest mediums to really control, and uh, I think Mr. Dixon has uh, not only controlled that medium but he has written a book on it. Yes, and. Uh, so uh, in order to help other artists, young artists and old artists alike. Uh, but before we get into your book, I, I must ask, what, what, what makes you want to paint in the first place? Well, there's several, several reasons uh, to paint for me. And uh, one, usually when I, when I go to a museum, uh, when I go online and see other artists' work, mm -hmm. uh, many, many of things that, that, that uh, inspires me to, to paint. And uh, once I get inspired, and once I get started, um, there's no stopping me. Mm -hmm. And I can take just as long for a dry period too, you know. Right. Because <laughs> you need that you need that break to get right. away from from uh, from your art. But uh, I've even been inspired by uh, kids and what mm -hmm. they do. Mm -hmm. And I say, well, hey, if this 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 child can do this, let me get back to painting. Are uh, you talking about the kids' artwork? Kids' artwork. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Every once in a while, I have my son's uh, piece of artwork um, on the wall downstairs, and every once in a while, I'll look up at it and, and be inspired to paint. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, but uh, there, there are many different things that you will, you know, I, I'll, I'll look at and say, well, it's time to paint. Mm -hmm. And it yeah. keeps me going. Yeah. Uh, who are some of your inspirations, uh, artists that have you know, made a difference in your life? Uh, well, there, there is uh, John Singer Sargent, who's my favorite. Okay. He's my favorite. Um, he's, he's gifted at painting oils, but his watercolors, I think, are, are quite exceptional. And I don't know of anyone that can paint watercolors like him. I also like uh, uh, Homer. Yeah. He, he has uh, exceptional watercolors, but I always I always go back to uh, John Singer Sargent. Okay. And uh, every once in, in fact, I have downloaded uh, a lot of his watercolor paintings on my computer and use them as as background painting. They change every fifteen minutes, so that keeps me inspired too. Right. I'm I uh, I love the medium of watercolor too, and. Uh, I want to interject that uh, when I retired from teaching, my first goal was to
to really good good at watercolors and uh, Henry and Dean Mitchell and uh, Leroy Allen uh, were three of the greatest watercolor artists that I had ever seen and they all lived right here in Kansas City and uh, so I kept trying to enter the National Watercolor Society and getting rejected and rejected and rejected and finally Henry, uh, not Henry, uh, Leroy Allen, the late Leroy Allen looked at one of my pieces he said, oh you're ready now. And you told me the yes. same thing. Yeah. And it was the inspiration of the other artists that kept me going after all of those yeah. rejections. <laughs> so uh, uh, let's, let's just take an example and look at one of your pieces here. Uh, and uh, by the way, uh, I lean more toward Homer. <laughs> okay. uh, hey, we, 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 we all have our... Yeah, our, our... yeah. But I love Sergeant too. Yeah. I, 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 you know, you, it's this. You yeah. know, it's yeah. it's just a little bit. Also, another another watercolor artist that he's not typically watercolor artist, but uh, one I really really admired was is uh, um, uh, Wyatt. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He does yeah. some he does yeah. some gorgeous watercolors. So yeah. I, I've I've admired his his work too. Uh -huh. Let's look at that uh, that young lady there in the corner. With yes. The, this this young lady, uh, we we went out to um, San Diego. Uh, I guess it was about thirteen years ago for Reggie's my son middle son's wedding, mm -hmm. and uh, then we decided to, decided well let's take a trip to the San Diego Zoo. Mm -hmm. So I took my camera along, and I usually take my camera oh, yeah. wherever I go because it's as far as painting, it's my best friend. Right. Because I can, I can pretty much capture those images that uh, I, you know I want to paint. Mm -hmm. So I saw this little girl sitting on this. Uh, um, I guess it was a table, it had like a, a bench uh, type eating table where the people take mm -hmm. breaks and eat eat lunch or whatever. So I saw her. I said, "Wow." This is a good subject. So I, I took a picture because I've asked, asked her if I could take a picture. She said, yeah. And then she got up and she started walking, uh, kind of walking away. And that's when I got, got this shot. Right. And I enjoyed painting it. What the, 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 uh, the, the part that was most challenging was her, her braided hair. Oh, yeah. Very challenging. Right. But I enjoy challenges. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's a lot of times that, uh, well, from this distance, you know, that, that hair is just a suggestion and a series yeah. of lights and darks yes. and uh, uh, you have to really, it's, and you don't need to get up on it no, to see the, the no. little details really and everything. And that's what so, uh, and the way you've done the eyes uh, uh, with the sun and the shadows. And and paint, painting shadows is one of my favorite uh, oh. parts of painting. It it introduces a lot of dr dramatics, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm for dramatics, and especially and I, I, in, I like painting, the way you put painting. you paint shadows, and then you paint inside the shadows and everything. Yes. When you really love get it. to look at I it, love it. Love I love that piece that I own of yours. Well, thank you. And, uh, thank you. I, uh, uh, I uh, really, really admire your your art. I don't call it work. Uh, I call it art. Thank you. <laughs> at, at times, I call it work. Yeah. Well, nobody sees the work. Uh, but yes, there there is some work in it. Um, tell us a little bit about your book. Well. Uh, the, the title, first of all, is Paint Amazing Watercolors from, phone, from Photographs. And that's basically what I do. First, first of all, I've always wanted to do a book. And 
I uh, got the chance to do a book when I uh, started entering a lot of national competitions. And fortunately for me, most of those competitions were uh, put on by uh, F&W Publications, which mm -hmm. is now, they call themselves F&W Media. And I started, my work appeared in a lot of their publications. Mm -hmm. So uh, they offered me a chance to, to get published by them. And so I said, wow, this, this is what I've been looking for. Right. So uh, they, they sent me all the information that I needed to, to get started. And once I uh, sent that back, and the rest was history. Yeah. The rest was history. Yes. Yeah. At yeah, one time, at one time for for several months, it was a uh, best bestseller. Okay. Which oh, it was like walking on cloud fifteen. Mm -hmm. I'm getting ready to give my copy to my son. Okay. <laughs> He's uh, trying to be an artist now. Uh, Is he considering watercolor? No, but I'm okay. going to get him to consider it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, uh, Henry, uh, what else would you like the public to know about you, your beloved Kansas City? Uh, what should they know about you? Well, How can uh, they contact you in case they want to come in and buy all of your artwork? Okay, uh, <laughs> there's several ways you can contact me. First of all, I uh, would encourage you to visit my website, which is www.henrywdixon.com. If if you leave the W out, you won't you won't get it. <laughs> so make sure you put the henrywdixon.com. Uh, another way um, is through my uh, phone number, my house phone, which I usually answer most of the times. Is eight one six nine six six one eight three zero. You can also uh, reach me through my uh, email address, which is uh, wdix5, as in 5, at hotmail.com. Pretty simple, wdix5 at hotmail.com. Now, is that, uh, is that uh, information on your website also? Yes, okay. yes, yes. Yeah. All, all of that information is, on, is also on my website. Uh, let's see, I've, I had some notes here. Uh, before you go, I've noticed that, and I can't see any examples here, but I know that you do some great landscapes and watercolors. Well, and, and, and yeah. still lifes yeah. that are not, that have no people in them at all. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, I enjoy painting landscapes pretty much like uh, Grand Canyon, uh, mm -hmm. Bryce Canyon, all those rocky type terrains. Right. I just love it because of all the, the colors. Yeah. Gorgeous colors. And rocks are not easy. <laughs> no, it's not. But uh, I kept painting and, and somebody one day said, Oh, have you ever been out to the Grand Canyon? I said, well, no. They said, you should go. Yeah. So my wife and I decided for a vacation one year that we would uh, travel out to the Grand Canyon, and boy, yeah. <laughs> I preached to everybody she go out there. So I, I uh, got uh, obtained a, a number photograph that I could work from. And actually, all of my Grand Canyon paintings were, were actually has actually been sold. Yeah. Yes, and uh, several have won uh, awards, and I just love painting the Grand Canyon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, my favorite. That's good. And that's good, uh, considering that uh, it seems like art is moving away from the the, the figure. Uh, so much, uh, a lot of uh, abstracts and free expression kind of things are happening now. Uh, I tried, I tried abstract and watercolor once 
for me, it didn't work. It didn't work well, it no. hasn't worked yet. No, I don't. I don't believe it. <laughs> that for several artists who who lives in in New York, it has because that's what they had to rely on. Which mm -hmm. that's is one of the the main images in New York is is abstracts. Right. So if you're a watercolor artist in, in New York, then you you pretty much have to learn to, to paint <laughs> abstracts, abstracts in watercolor. Right. So. Well. Uh, we have, I mean, I have really enjoyed this, and uh, so, so uh, we're going to wind this up now, and once again, thank you, and this has been Lonnie Powell Presents, uh, and I'd like to urge you to watch uh, other videos on uh, What's Up Kansas City, and uh, and you can find that at www.whatsupkansascity.net. Thank you. Always remember, the victory we call success goes to the best prepared. When you invest in your community, you are really just investing in yourself. Thanks.